everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Brianna. I am a certified personal trainer, a big, huge biology nerd and a registered dietitian to be. Consider today's video a PSA for you guys and a big fat target pointed at the Hunbots who will, with the dawn of the new year, exploit your insecurity and vulnerability and make you believe that you need their products and or their opportunity in 2021. I'm here to tell you that you don't need them or their products in 2021 or ever. Before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education with some funnies and some cute ass puppies along the way, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right in. It's a new year, guys. That means new you, right? Not for me. New year, same me, but bigger goals and better intentions. Anyway, over the next few weeks and into the coming months, you will notice an influx of CEOs and boss babes in your inbox coming at you with either an opportunity or some product that you need to improve your health and lose weight. Why now? This is a pivotal time and not just because of all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world right now. It's during this time that we see so much of this because it's a new year, everybody has holiday gift money to spend and we're getting stimulus checks right now. And because it's a new year, a lot of people have goals of losing weight and or improving their health, which in itself is not a bad thing. But unfortunately, many uninformed people don't know how to do this themselves, so they turn to the internet, which sourcing the internet is also not a problem, but it depends on where those sources are coming from. Hunbots and Instagram health gurus all over the place will be taking advantage of this ignorance. Don't let them, guys. Do not invest in their opportunity and do not give them a single dime for their products because you don't need them, but they will make you think that you need them. I'm about to show you guys a really quick video of an Arbonne district manager, which is a rank in a multi-level marketing company or MLM. So really it means nothing in the grand scheme of things. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here real quick and let you know that I am going to be offering my wholesale discount to anyone who wants to place orders this week. Um, if you're looking to reset your health, if you're looking for good gut health, improved nutrition in the new year, 2021 start out right, hit me up, DM me. I'm happy to share my discount with you. Right off the bat, she's using buzzwords that we hear a lot in the marketing of wellness products like reset. If you are a healthy disease free human being, your body can take care of itself just fine especially when you take care of your body well. Discount with you, get you some goodies, some products that are just gonna really serve your body, get you ready for the new year. Um, basically just reset your body completely. So I'm here to help you out with anything you need. Um, if you have any questions at all, let me know, I'm here. I think a lot of people don't realize how important gut health is and how important taking care of your microbiome is. Um, our gut is in control of our mind body skin connection so taking care of it just neutralizes our entire body and gives us the ability to perform at its best so i don't know about you but i want to perform at my peak performance level and the way to do that is to take care of your gut from the inside out to take care of your organs your your diet your nutrition um putting vitamins and minerals into your bloodstream is so important especially because i don't know if you know this but i'm gonna pause right there your gut is in control of your mind body skin connection what gut health does account for very large aspects of our health such as our immunity which is perhaps one of the most important aspects of our health so it is important to take care of your gut microbiome which is basically like um whenever i learned microbiome in school. I just kind of thought about like a cute little colony of bacteria living in my intestine. Now it's in your head like that too. But do we really need Arbonne for that? According to an article published by UC Davis, quote unquote, gut health describes the function and balance of bacteria of the many parts of the gastrointestinal tract. Issues with your gut, which obviously should be identified by your healthcare team, can include things like abdominal pain, constipation, and bloating. As a dietetic student, you guys can probably imagine that I've learned about a lot of foods that help support your gut health. 
And it's really just standard fare, fruits and vegetables, things like that. I haven't heard anything about Arbonne shakes though. In fact, in one of my lectures from, oh God, it was a class last semester. I can't remember what the class was, I'm so sorry. But it was, it was one of my classes and in the PowerPoint of one of my lectures, we were talking about dietary supplements and my professor put in the lecture, be wary of dietary supplements distributed by MLM companies. Were they even teaching us to avoid MLM products in school? What else do I have to say to you? It takes about 13 to 26 seconds to absorb anything from your skin directly into your bloodstream. So if you're putting products on your face that are non-plant-based or have toxins or chemicals in it, you're actually... So when you're putting these products directly under your skin, um, they're getting absorbed directly into your bloodstream. And if they don't have um, organic ingredients in them, they're going to be putting toxins and chemicals directly into your bloodstream, which in the long run can affect your mind. It can affect your performance. It can affect your sleep. It can affect everything. So, okay, sorry. I have to pause it. She just triggered me a little bit. So if it's not organic, it must be toxic. Not true guys. Not true at all. There are plenty of toxins that occur naturally out there in the world. A couple of examples, tetrodotoxin, which is present in pufferfish. Ricin, which is present in the seeds of castor beans. Recall the naturalistic fallacy. I feel like I have brought this up like in my last five videos, but I think it's relevant to a lot of the stuff that I talk about here. The naturalistic fallacy is the misconception of logic that because something is natural, it must be better or superior. Just because it's natural, doesn't mean it's better. Also, she's just plugging Arbonne products, which you can find affordable alternatives for just about anywhere. I encourage you to do your own research. Um, nutrition is important right now, especially with keeping our immunity high. I'm here for questions. I'm happy to help out. Um, I'm learning too. I try and learn something new every day about nutrition, so I'm not over here trying to be like this expert. I just have a passion for this and want to share. So hit me up, here to help. Let's start January 4th. I'm starting the is a healthy living program. If anybody is curious, wants to join me, it's 40% off right now. And you have a great group of girls and men and women of all shapes, sizes. Ugh, no, I don't want your 30 days to healthy living program. Ugh. And yes, by the way, we know you're not an expert. Also, the 30 days to healthy living, you guys, I'm not even going to say anything. I made an entire video about that program and why it's baloney, and I will have it linked below for your viewing pleasure. That video hit the nail right on the head. She's plugging her Arbonne products to help you get ready for the new year and reset your health. You guys, you don't need any of it. And once again, words like reset, they're just buzzwords that they use in the marketing of weight loss and wellness products to make you feel like you're doing something beneficial for your body. These products that supposedly help you reset or refresh, whatever, really are probably just full of laxatives and diuretics, which make you pee and poop, which of course result in weight loss if you're peeing and pooping like crazy. And then you feel reset just because you've lost a few pounds. I honestly feel really sorry for that girl. I follow her on one of my other secret spy accounts and she is constantly in her Instagram stories saying things like help me grow my business or like plugging something so that she can just try and make one sale. In my opinion, she comes off as very desperate and it's really sad because she's very clearly been sold the opportunity. We have another one. All right, this is the last one we're gonna look at. Um, this girl is from Prove It and we have actually seen her before. Good morning and happy Tuesday, the last Tuesday of 2020. I'm probably going to say that every single day <laughs> until 2021 is here. But regardless, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great day. I am feeling so much better today. I'm excited to get into everything that I've not been able to do the last couple days. One of them being workout. I'm excited to move my body. But first, I wanted to share a couple things. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me when the reboot is coming back they can grab it again um because if you've looked at my site it says it's not available but today it is um i got a message this morning saying that the reboot is back on the website we will be starting as a group on january 17th so if you've been wanting to grab that now is the time i will link it so all you have to do is swipe up and it'll take you to my website um, you're just like what is the reboot um if you swipe up and you scroll down a little bit it will say how it works and there's like the cutest three three and a half minute video that explains how the reboot works how it basically resets your entire metabolism i also have a those buzzwords again 
reboot, reset your metabolism. Highlight on my page that shows me basically like unboxing the entire reboot system and kind of walking through it. I go through the schedule as well. Um, like I said, it is in my highlights. It is under the hour reboot. So if you want to check that out as well, I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but all of that information is there for you. And also like if you have any questions or you're like, I don't know if I can do that for 60 hours, get in where you fit in. You don't have to reboot for 60 hours. If you want to start with a 24 hour fast, you want to do a 30 hour fast, like get in where you fit in. It is totally beneficial no matter what, but please message me if you have any reboot questions. I would love to answer them for you to help you get is the reboot there my entire site is still 22% off so so many good things I just wanted to share um, everything will be linked so all you have to do is swipe up but do you guys hear that okay that's the end of that her whole site is 22% off what a weird number that's weird if she were trying to do like a new year promotion I feel like it would make more sense for her site to be like 21% off you know because it's like 2021 I don't know, that's just me. I just think 22% off is weird. Anyway, so the thing she's talking about is the Prove It Keto Reboot System. The website description of this says, the 60 hour keto reboot system will assist you to reset your metabolism by reprogramming your genes to run on fat for fuel. By conquering a 60 hour keto reboot, you engage your body to use fat as an energy source while gradually shifting into keto adaptation. By the way, that little video she was talking about, I actually, I found two videos on the site. I found the animated video she was talking about, but then I found another video of some guy named uh, Rob DeBoer. I found Rob DeBoer's LinkedIn profile and he is quote, an educator and nutrition coach specializing in ketones with carbs biohacking strategies. I didn't see any dietitian credentials in there, but whatever. And basically he just explains what the system is and what comes in the box. As the girl stated in the video, this is a fast. So I just wanted to add this in really quick. I got this from her highlight on the reboot and this is under the third question there. She is essentially advising if it does not come in the box, no, you cannot eat it. So you are to live off of the supplements that come in the kit. You're basically living off of bone broth and other weird supplements for 60 hours. Almost three days of starving yourself. What about this is appealing to anyone? Oh, I know the promise of resetting your metabolism. We've discussed this before, guys. Your metabolism doesn't forget what to do just because you eat a cheeseburger and have a beer. Your metabolism doesn't stop just because you eat a bag of Cheetos. Like, I'm so sick of, oh, you ate bad? By the way, I don't like to label foods as good or bad. I become a dietitian. I wanna specialize in um, bariatric care, you know, obesity care and diabetes care. I don't wanna tell people that food's bad, that food's bad. I wanna just tell people, hey, this is broccoli. Broccoli is very healthy for you and it has a lot of nutrition to offer you. This is pizza. Broccoli, pizza has more calories and more fat than broccoli. It's not bad, but you should still practice moderation when you're eating it. Anyway, because you ate bad, you now have to reset or reboot or refresh or detox or something like that. That stuff does nothing but make you pee and poop, guys. Rounding back to what the website said about this reboot system, it said, the 60 hour keto reboot system will assist you to reset your metabolism by reprogramming your genes to run on fat for fuel. If that is not the biggest load of pseudoscience I have ever heard. Okay. As far as genetics go, drinking some f***ing keto juice, shake, bone broth, whatever, is not gonna go, what? What is that even gonna do for your genes? There's conditions called genetic inborn errors of metabolism, and those conditions are just how they sound. They're errors of metabolism that people inherit. That means it's not like contagious. You inherit it, like from your parents. Examples of genetic inborn errors of metabolism are galactosemia. People with galactosemia cannot break down or metabolize the monosaccharide, or is it a disaccharide? 
I'll fact check myself and put it on the screen somewhere if I'm wrong. Um, people with galactosemia can't metabolize and break down galactose, so they simply have to avoid it. I actually have experience uh, with galactosemia. When I was a school health technician, there was a student at my school who had galactosemia. It was a little girl and she really didn't need anything special. All she had to do was just avoid foods with galactose in it and that was really it. If she ate foods with too much galactose, it would cause a lot of problems with her and it could make her really sick. Another example of an inborn error of metabolism is a condition phenylketonuria or PKU for short. People with PKU basically can't break down the amino acid phenylalanine. And if they eat foods containing this, then it could cause a dangerous buildup in their bodies and it can cause a lot of serious problems for them. Those are just a couple examples of inborn errors of metabolism. The reason I went there is because drinking this stupid keto shake is not going to cure galactosemia. It's not gonna cure your PKU. There's no cure for these things. These supplements don't go into your genes. <sighs> All right, before we uh, totally go off the deep end here, um, she mentioned that there is a, um, I guess like a menu or like a sample of how to complete the program. I found that on the website, like a breakdown of what you were to consume each day. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so on Sunday, you are to first join the Facebook group. <laughs> eat regularly during the day, but don't binge eat. That only makes it harder on your body. 30 minutes before bed, consume three of your signal O's PM. I guess that's a pill. Monday and Tuesday. So for Monday and Tuesday, we're doing the same thing. Upon waking, your keto os, os, I don't even, what have I even been saying? Keto os nat signal os os ass <laughs> am, two of them, mitoplex. At noon, you are to consume better broth. At 3 p.m., the keto os nat, 6 p.m., more better broth. Ooh, we get broth two times a day, guys. Wow. And 30 minutes before bed, your signal os PM three. And then Wednesday, in the morning, you have your signal os AM, which is two, your mitoplex, and then your keto os pro. And then that concludes your keto reboot. Uh, you're definitely going to lose weight on this because you will be starving. Uh, there's no food involved in this. What? You guys, I can't, I can't. I just can't. <sighs> All right, let's wrap this up. In conclusion, no, no. You guys, if you wanna lose weight, get in shape, or just get healthier, there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to get yourself a supportive network of people behind you to help you on your journey. You need real professionals, like a certified personal trainer, not a beach body coach, or a registered dietitian, not a prove it hun shilling ketones. And if you're interested in learning your health status, talk to a healthcare professional, not an Arbonne rep. You do not need their products or their opportunity in the new year or ever. If you made it to the end of this video, pat yourself on the back. I feel like things got a little bit heated. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. If you didn't enjoy this video, why did you watch till the end? Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Poshmark. Stay tuned for a lot of really fun things that I have coming in 2021. And yeah, I think that's it. I do have a bit of a confession. The dogs are not here right now. I'm sorry. All three of the dogs are actually at daycare. Yes, my dogs go to daycare. Because every time I say that, people are always like, your dogs go to daycare? Yes, my dogs go to daycare. So they're not here, but I won't disappoint you. I'm gonna bring my camera with me and film my and film picking them up from daycare. You guys will get your puppies, don't worry. Again, thank you so very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello. I'm here for my children. Okay. Can um, I have Alpha first? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna bring them out one at a time. Please. Um, uh, okay, we gonna... usually do Alpha and then the boys. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I totally hear Zeus howling right now. <laughs> hey, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Did you guys have a fun time at daycare? Did you guys have a fun time? I'll take that as a yes. They gave us treats at daycare because they were such good babies. Oh, it says I woof you. 
see if Alpha likes this. Alpha eats everything. Hey, baby. Alpha. Hey, baby. You want it? There you go. Say bye. <laughs> bye. 